Hey guys, welcome back to our awesome video here. Today we are going to be making Cinnabon inspired eclairs. We're not just making regular eclairs, we're making Cinnabon inspired. Everyone loves cinnamon and if we put it together with the eclair, it'll be tasty. And I'll show you how to do it. You can follow along in the step by step video. Let's get started. making our cinnamon pastry cream. Here is all of our ingredients. It's good to have your ingredients ready to go when making a pastry cream and you will soon see why. So you're going to go ahead and turn your pot on to medium heat. And you're going to go ahead and add in two cups of whole milk. So this is a half of a banana bean and I got it and I cut it in half so you can't really tell but the seeds are out. And I'm just going to add it into the pot. We got this going and you're going to make sure that you're just stirring it every once in a while to make sure it doesn't burn so don't get too distracted on one thing or you'll forget about this. In a separate bowl, you're going to combine your sugar. This is three fourths cup of sugar. Then you're also going to combine in one fourth cup of cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Quick tip, if you just wash the container that you're putting your um, cornstarch in, make sure it's completely dry and not wet at all because the cornstarch will stick to the hmm. the bowl and you don't want that and you might not end up getting a full measurement. Then you're also going to add in a pinch of salt. Just whisk it together. Oh guys, and don't forget, you gotta mix this every once in a while. Yeah, I know you forgot. Ugh, and be careful, there's some stuff flying in the air. It's not radioactive, but just in case, be careful. All right, once you got this, you're going to add in four egg yolks at a time. I have a quick tip for you if you need to separate your egg yolks from your rice. An easy way to do it is, make sure you have your two bowls, egg whites, egg yolks, and you're going to get your egg and crack it like usual, separate it, you know, the normal stuff, but then, <laughs> then you're going to just go like this into one shell and keep going until it's completely, until there's no more egg white and all the goopy stuff is gone and it's just the yolk like so and then add it to your bowl. Just know that you are having a little bit of a risk of, of breaking your yolk, which can get into a little bit of a sticky situation. And by breaking your yolk, is these sharp edges along the shell. But that doesn't happen too, too often, so you shouldn't have to worry. So don't forget to mix this, guys. And while it is um, waiting for it to boil, now would be a good time to add in your cinnamon. This is one teaspoon of cinnamon. And the cinnamon will show um will just be on the top um, for a little while. So you're just going to want to keep mixing it until it's all over. Then we're gonna add in egg yolks 
one at a time. The reason why I'm doing it one at a time is because if you add in all your eggs, then it can be a little bit hard to mix. And as you can see, when you're mixing it and adding in the egg yolks, your mixture should be this. This is a good consistency. This is at two yolks. This is a good consistency, nice and thick. Um, all the egg yolks is coming together. This is good. Go ahead and add in this yolk. And look at the consistency. This is a really good consistency. This is what you want. So just keep mixing until all the egg is completely combined. And we can move on to the next step. Now that our milk is at a boil, we're going to turn off the heat, grab our egg mixture, and we're going to temper our eggs. Uh, and we're going to temper our eggs by getting the milk, only doing a little milk at a time. Add the milk and quickly whisk it. And you're going to work really fast here. It, if you don't temper your eggs, then you'll have a chance of cooking and scrambling your eggs. And we don't want that. So let's temper our eggs. to add in four tablespoons of room temperature softened butter. This is four tablespoons or half of the whole stick. You're going to head and just, whoa. For, put it in there, and then you're going to mix it in until it's nice and combined. The mixture should be hot enough and the butter should be soft enough so it can melt. After this, the mixture should be a little thicker than it was before, but then you're going to take out your vanilla beans. I already took out one of them, but you want to take out all of the vanilla bean pods. You're going to turn the heat back on, and you're going to add your mixture back into the pot. As you can see, like I said earlier, I have the strainer to get the vanilla bean out. And see the vanilla bean pot is in there. We don't want that in there, so that's why we strained it since I couldn't easily find it. And then just keep continuously mixing until it gets nice and thick. A mistake that some people make, or at least I make sometimes when I make my pastry cream, is that when I whisk it, I don't let it get super thick. I just let it get a little bit thick. But you need it to get super thick before you let it chill in the fridge because yes, being in the fridge will get it thick, but it won't get it too thick enough to the right consistency. So that's what you're going to want to do. You leave it in the pan until it's completely thickened, then put it in the fridge. <laughs> Making pastry cream can take a little time. But you just gotta be patient. And I know you're so excited to have this thing a lot of times. But just be patient with it. Maybe even take a little dense bake in between. Back into this bowl. 
Yay! I'm so excited. It's finally cooking. We had a dance break, but we finally made it. We finally thickened our pastry cream. Oh, yeah. And here's your pastry cream. I need to get some beautiful plastic wrap. Make sure to go check out my Sloppy Joe video. And you know why I have beef with this plastic wrap. Mm. You're going to get some of this plastic wrap. And you're going to place it on top of the bowl. You're going to get more of this than you think because when you're putting it onto the bowl, what we're going to be doing is, yes, pushing the plastic wrap onto the bowl, but we're also going to be placing the plastic wrap, as you can see, we get the plastic wrap, place it down like that. We're placing it onto the surface of the pastry cream because what's in the fridge, you don't want it to form a film on the top. And no, I don't mean a Hollywood movie film. I mean the thin, thick layer that forms on the top of the stuff. And if you need to, you can get another piece of plastic wrap, not as big, to go back over it to the other side, just to make sure it is completely covered. Now you're going to go ahead and put this in the fridge for around 30 minutes to make sure it is completely cool. All right. Now we're going to start our shoe dough. So first you're going to turn the heat to medium, to medium low heat. And to make up our shoe dough, you're going to add in half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, eight tablespoons of butter, or a whole stick. Then you're going to add in one teaspoon of sugar and a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar, I mean, fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Now we're just going to mix this together and keep it on the heat until the butter is melted. And just keep mixing it until the butter is nice and completely dissolved. So now you're just gonna wait for it to bring to a boil. So at this point, you could turn up the heat a little bit to medium heat. And now you're just gonna wait for it to come to a boil. Now we're going to add in one cup of flour. And now, using our wooden spoon, we're going to turn off the heat and then start mixing the, mixing it up until it's all combined. As soon as you start mixing it together, you should see a consistency like this. Just keep mixing it until it's all fully combined. But now, after mixing it for a while, it should be coming together like this. or a ham mixer. And if you're using a ham mixer like me, you're going to fill it with a paddle attachment. So we've got our hot pad of shoe dough, fresh off the pan. And um, I've tried it before. Doesn't really taste like anything. So if you're wondering, add your pad of shoe dough into your bowl or stand mixer or whatever you're using and see what happens when you start mixing it. Go at about medium to medium high speed. And look at all the steam that's coming out. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it's a lot of steam. There's all the steam. 
don't freak out if it starts fogging up the camera because it's a whole lot of steam because it's really hot and we're fresh off the stove and you're just going to keep mix, letting it mix until you can't see any more steam and if you feel the bottom of the bowl it's really hot all right we laid out most of the steam now remember earlier when we were making our pastry cream and we tempered our eggs well here, since we're adding in our eggs, and since this is still a pretty hot mixture, we don't want to cook our eggs. So let's go ahead and grab our, our four eggs. And turn it on. And then you're gonna add in your four eggs one at a time. And you scoop some up and then you can and it's nice a ribbony texture now we have a baking sheet with some parchment paper and now we're going to put our patty shoe dough into a piping bag and I am I have a piping bag here and I also have it fitted with this um, piping tip I also have a cup an easy way to fill piping bags is to get your cup, get your piping bag, and you put your piping bag into the cup. Then fold the sides over the cup. Should look like this. Now you're going to get your mixture. And then you're going to start putting the mixture into the piping bag. And make sure that you do not, do not overfill the piping bag. Because if you overfill the piping bag, it will just be a terrible mess. That happened to me. It was terrible. And we can always like refill it or get something into another piping bag. Then we can start piping. We're going to get our piping bag. And make sure you have it cut at the bottom and here and before we start we're just going to to make hold the parchment down a little, parchment paper down a little bit easier you're just gonna do small amount on each of the four corners and now you're gonna get your parchment paper and then place it down parchment paper down we're going to start piping them not too close to the uh, um, sides and I'm just gonna pipe it on there now we're just going to do the same thing and pipe on more how my cares turned out. Right, now you're gonna place them into a 425 degree oven for 10 minutes. Once it comes to 10 minutes in the 425 degree oven, then you're going to decrease the um, heat and you leave it in there for another 30 minutes. We put them in the oven for 10 minutes at 425, reduced it to 325 for 30 minutes, and now they're ready. And they look great. Just look at it. Mmm, yummy. Now we're going to wait for these to cool. Alright. Our Ikeas are nice and cool. We've got our pastry cream into a piping bag. And now we're going to fill our Ikeas with our pastry cream. And to do that, we're going to grab one of our Ikeas. Now you're just going to put it in there. And then you're just going to 
to squeeze, squeeze away. And you're going to put more in there than you think. Trust me. You want to get these completely filled. Here, I'm adding in a glaze of my own. But you can find a recipe of glaze that you like. And there you have it. You have your Cinnabot Inspired Eclairs! You guys did great! Well, I hope you guys um, try this recipe and I hope you follow along my step-by-step -step videos. Leave in the comments down below what your favorite flavor eclairs or if you haven't had one before, if you like this recipe, make sure to leave that in the comments down below and also make sure to like my videos and i hope you guys enjoy bye